week I've been painting a lot on the mass painting. I really want to wrap up this painting, so I'm spending a lot of attention on it now. I do have to say that I really appreciate the comments, ex especially comments that are kind of uh, critique-like. It's um, helpful because then I can, I mean, I'm working now by myself alone in my studio, so to, to have a fresh pair of eyes looking at the this painting or other paintings and kind of giving their two cents and then I'll go and take what they say and look at the painting and see if I agree or not. Um, but no, I find it really helpful. It's kind of like just a new way for me to to look at the painting. And I'm a little nervous saying this because right now I do have a nice balance of the comic, comment section, but um, I do find the, the critiques, constructive critiques to be pretty helpful. So this week I've been working mostly on the mask. I'm putting the flowers more um, on the back burner. I want to do more with them. But um, so this week I was w working a lot on the smooth parts of the mask, making sure that the structure of it makes sense, making sure that it looks like it's sitting behind the the textured carving part of the mask. Um, also making sure that like the features of the face line up in the, the right planes. And so things that I want to keep pushing towards with this, with the whole mass, not just the, the smooth part, is unifying the shadow shapes and then also working in the light shapes to get it to be a bit more bright and colorful. And I've started this still life now, um, The Lovers. In this stage, blocking in, I will like to just dry brush so I'm not using any medium. I work in the darks first and just getting the masses of things blocked in. Um, I'm keeping the edges super soft so I'm able to move things around easily and keep correcting like the big structure of the drawing. And um, I'm kind of treating this like I would in my atelier training where you're, you're thinking of a, a photo developing. As you watch the photo develop, everything you're working general to specific as it develops more, it gets more and more details and the contrast pushes away from each other. So I was just working in the darks then and then I'm going to start to um, work on the lights and keen it to get it to get it brighter just just so I can see my full range of values. Um, one thing that I did was I, I purchased a lot of paints online that they should be getting here tomorrow. But one thing that I bought was Mars Black. I usually use Ivory Black, which is a pretty, a pretty oily paint. And I'm finding in the, the mask painting and also the other painting I did, the, the Toy Car and Ginger Rail painting, that the darks would kind of get this like glossy finish to it. And the where I'm using a lot of the Ivory Black and then other areas of the paint, it wouldn't have that glossiness to it. And it's corrected when the painting is finished because then I'll varnish it and then everything will have that um, a nice even um, coating on top of it so then everything looks fresh, nothing sunken in and everything kind of has that like glossy look to it. But it can be distracting while I'm painting. So yeah, while I'm working on the painting. So Mars Black, I hear, has a lot less oil in it. So I want to experiment with that and just see what what happens working with Mars Black instead of the Ivory Black. Oh, and I've also been working on the Icarus painting with the girl that's fallen out of the sky and is treading water. I'm focused right now on getting the expression. So I'm using myself as the model and I've been doing some portrait, like really quick um, expressions. So one, once I found out this one, I really like this one, so I wanted to do a bigger drawing of this just kind of to to work it out and make sure it's what I want. So um, I've been doing that this week and it's on Canton paper and so far it's just using vine charcoal where I have it now but I'm gonna um, work on it more next week to tighten it up a bit and I think I'm, I'm gonna use some natrium charcoal so I can get um, just have more control over getting to tightening up the drawing because the, the vine charcoal is so loose and it moves around a lot on the paper and I, I find that the Neutrum charcoal stays put better. 
So one thing that I did, well, I'm looking in a mirror, so I'm doing this from life, and um, but the eyes, I don't want to be making eye contact with the viewer. So I borrowed a set of eyes from a Rembrandt painting, and the face is almost in the same position too. So um, the Lucretia painting, I really love her, her eyes in this painting, so I borrowed them for my expression. And um, it's not exactly the same because her face is a little bit more straight on the way I have it. Mine's um, tilted a bit more. So what I did was I I kind of um, mapped out on the drawing where uh, you could see, I mean, this is a lot different lighting situation, but pretty much uh, the, the corner of my eye up to the crease of my eyelid, that's all in shadow. So I would kind of mark a thicker soft line and then also see the corner of my eye here, the corner of my eye <laughs> here, um, and same thing over here as well, and just kind of marked out that points and then um, use the, the same points with the Lucretia painting so it would match up better, especially with my head tilted a bit more than she has it in this painting. And I, th I think I really like it a lot. I'm going to tweak things a little bit more. Um, I might tighten up the mouth a little bit more, tighten up, like, um, not make it more detailed, but, like, like I'm, like, holding my mouth more rather than it looking just, like, kind of relaxed. <laughs> so, I don't know. I'm going to keep tweaking things and getting it more to um, how I like it, but I definitely like the direction that it's going a lot. I think this is going to be the expression that I use in the painting. Also, I... Um, bought some bird wings from a taxidermy shop and so I could be using that to reference the the wings that are in the painting so I don't know when those are going to come in I think they're, it's from a taxidermy shop in the Netherlands so um, I don't know when that's going to come in but once I get those in I can start figuring out how I'm going to be doing the wings and um, yeah I keep pushing ahead with this painting because I, I really want to see this painting realized because I'm really excited about it.